The six-pack has often been heralded as the definition of core strength. It does play a role and is a symbol of hard work and strength, however the six-pack is not the foundation of a powerful core. Core stability is not defined by strength of abdominals or back muscles, but results from optimal intra-abdominal pressure regulation. Here's an example to, to tell you what I mean. A can, when filled and not opened, is full of pressure. When it has optimal pressure, it is a stable, strong structure that can res withstand loads without breaking down and cannot be crushed, crinkled, or damaged. If this was your core, this is what is meant by optimal intra-abdominal pressure. Once you open the can and start to empty it, the can loses the inter internal pressure and becomes vulnerable to damage, as you can see here. This resembles a core that can't optimally regulate intra-abdominal pressure because the muscles of the core aren't firing in a proper pattern and thus have activation, activation problems. Which core do you want? Compare the cans you just saw to this image. On the left in green is a core with balanced activity of stabilization muscles, which allows for symmetrical loading. This is the full can. On the right in red shows pro poor quality of activation of stabilization musculature. Some groups call this an open scissor position because it opens the door to injury. This is like the crinkled can. Many people work out, train, and get under a load with a crinkled can for a core and then wonder why they have injuries, pain, and struggle to reach their performance goals. You train this balanced activation through breathing, and that will be discussed in a following video. Core stability sets a foundation for proper posture throughout the rest of the body. As you can see here, proper posture puts the muscles and joints in maximum congruence, allowing the joint to generate maximal power and be maximally loaded without risk of injury. Now let's look at the muscles that make up the core. First, the top and the bottom the diaphragm and the pelvic floor. The diaphragm is your main breathing muscle and the pelvic floor, well think of the muscles that you use to stop the pee stream. Together this creates pressure, a vertical pressure in the core to start your foundation. Next we have the spinal stabilizing muscles, the most important of which, or at least the one we're going to highlight here, is called the multifidus. This is a strong muscle group that goes from one vertebra to the next along the back. As you'll see, we help train this muscle to work in synergy with the rest through breathing, and that also will be shown in a follow-up video. Next we have the muscles that make up the side of the can, and these go from the spine all the way to the front. And there's three different muscles and they all go in different directions. This is the transverse abdominus, and this is a linear direction. Next we have the internal oblique muscles, again from the spine and the hips all the way to the center, and these are angled from bottom to top. Lastly, the last layer is the external obliques, and they too start from the back and go around to the front, and these angle from top to bottom. In this last picture here, as you zoom in, you can see the three layers of tissue all going in a different direction which helps to provide stability through all movements, through all planes of motion, which makes it an unstoppable core if they can fire in synergy with one another. Thanks for watching and look for my next video on diaphragmatic breathing to learn how to train all these muscles to work together so that you can start building a performance core.